Jessica. I'm Angela. Manny. Nick. In the 1790s, a man named Edward Jenner created the very first vaccination for smallpox. Ever since then, it has been a big disagreement on whether or not we should vaccinate our children. Some wonder if it is even effective, safe, or if it is right or wrong to vaccinate children. Some parents believe that it should be their choice on whether or not their child is vaccinated, while others believe that it should be mandatory for all children to be vaccinated. So today we will be talking about whether or not children should or should not be vaccinated. So let's discuss why some parents are against vaccinations. Some parents believe that if you were to vaccinate your child, it would create a higher risk for their health. Others believe that if you were to vaccinate your child, it could cause autism. But according to Dina Marone, parents believe vaccines cause autism around the age of two because children around the age of two get more vaccines than usual. And also by the age of two is when signs start occurring for autism. Because some diseases are essentially gone, parents believe that they should not have to vaccinate their child for those diseases. But just because they might essentially be gone, doesn't mean that they shouldn't have to get vaccinations because once the vaccination rates go down, that's when an outbreak starts to occur for those diseases. Some, according to the Department of Health and Human Services, some are too young to be vaccinated. They are either have severe allergies or they might have a weak immune system, making it unable for them to be vaccinated. So therefore, if you don't get your child vaccinated, then you are causing a higher risk for those who are unable to be vaccinated to catch a disease. So is it safe for your child to be vaccinated? Re vaccinations are reviewed by doctors, healthcare professionals, and scientists before they can even use the vaccine. Yes, vaccines may cause discomfort, redness, and tenderness, but that is way better than having a disease caused by vaccinations. Yes, vaccinations aren't 100% effective, but there are some side effects that are very rare. One of the rare side effects are having an allergic reaction that can be treated by common medications such as an epinephrine. So, are vaccinations effective? They have a very high effectiveness, and according to the CDC, you need to have the full dose of the vaccination for it to fully work. According to the National Vaccine Info Center, after receiving the second dose of the MMR vaccine, which is for measles, mumps, and rubella, 99.7% are immune to measles. The chickenpox vaccine is 85 to 90% effective in preventing infections but 100% effective in preventing moderate or severe chickenpox. So why should it be mandatory to vaccinate your child? According to the CDC, some parents believe some diseases don't exist anymore, but they still exist. So since this, you should still have your child vaccinated for those diseases, even though they might not occur as often. For example, polio was the most feared in America but because of vaccinations, there are no more reports of polio in the United States. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, those who are unable to receive vaccines are at a much higher risk to contract diseases. For example, if a child were to have leukemia, they would not be able to have vaccinations. Therefore, if they were to come in contact with a child who was not vaccinated, that child could have them create more diseases on top of them having leukemia, which causes them to get sicker. Reoccurrences of measles and whooping cough have happened in the past few years. Since 2010, there has been 10,000 to 50,000 cases of whooping cough, causing 10 to 20 babies to pass away because they were too young to be vaccinated. By getting children vaccinated, it will be able to help eliminate diseases that will no longer be around in our future. For example, the smallpox vaccination was able to eliminate diseases worldwide. Therefore, we are no longer having to have this vaccine. Children are our number one concern and we want to be able to protect them as much as we can. By having vaccinations, 
we are able to eliminate diseases that won't be around in the future to harm our child. By getting the vaccinations, we are able to predict those who are unable to have the vaccines. So by having your child get vaccinations, you are protecting them, your family, and the community around us. Thank you.